Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Angelka and I am an artist from Sweden. And today I thought it was time to test out this Schmincke Supergranulation set Forest. I have tried out some other of their sets and some individual colors before. And I quite like them. So now I have purchased the forest one, the smaller set with the five five milliliter tubes. So I thought that I would open it together together with you and uh, swatch them out and see what uh, these five colors looks like. So I have a knife with me here because I haven't opened it yet. Even though I had had this for several months or several since uh, November, I think. So let's open it up. So they are quite cute, uh, this set with five milliliter tubes. So tiny and cute. So we have forest olive, olive, I think you pronounce it in English. Uh, forest green, forest blue, forest brown, and forest gray. And on this box, you hopefully you can see you have all the colors here with some small swatches. And I also want to show the back side of the box because there you have a little bit of information about supergranulating colors. And here it says eight series of five colors each. And in January this year they released the sets Volcano, Desert and Shire. And before that they have Deep Sea, Glacier, Galaxy, Thundra, Forest and Limited Edition Haze. And I do believe all those colors or all these sets has been limited edition before. But now there are, um, what do you say, regular edition to Sminkers Hordam uh, colors. Which I for one is very thankful for. So I have an empty plastic palette and I will just start and uh, take out some colors from the small, small tubes. As I said, very, very cute. And for comparison, I have uh, here a uh, large 15 milliliter tubes. So you can buy these uh, super granulation colors in those small sets or in bigger sets with five milliliters uh, tubes or individual five milliliter tubes. So now you know that. And I have quite fallen in love with the super granulating colors from Schmincke because I think they look very nice uh, when the colors are granulating, um, when they separate from each other on the paper and create uh, a nice effect on the paper.
So this is uh, my third complete set of those super granulation colors. And I have some videos that I will link in the description box below with some previous swatching uh, where I did swatch out the Funra set and Deep Sea set and some individual colors from uh, uh, the Glacier set and the Galaxy set. So here is all the colors and also a little bit color on my finger. Therefore you need to have paper around you when you are handling watercolors. And some water. And I need to have the tubes um, there so I can see. Uh, which color I am swatching. So let's start with the uh, forest olive. And I also see I can see the colors here, which is perfect. So first I will swatch them like you uh, usually do with um, uh, watercolors. Like so. And then we have forest green. Green colors are not my absolute favorite kind of color, but I do love forest, so I just wanted to have this set. And now we have forest blue. And I hope that I can um, paint an entire painting like a forest scene with these, those, these uh, five colors. Uh, that would be fun to try it. I have wanted to do that with some of the other Schmincke sets uh, to paint... Uh, what uh, uh, the scenery that the sets are named after, but I haven't uh, done that yet. Sometimes I feel like I want to do so much that I don't do anything with art, it's, which are a little bit uh, stupid. Because when you have an idea, you should just uh, go for it right away. So, and this was Forest Brown, and now we are at uh, Forest Grey, that have some like orangey uh, kind of color to it. And I have a new brush, which I have a little bit uh, of a hard time to handle. 
it's 100% squirrel, so it takes up water quite nice. And Issa Bay uh, Petit Gris, I think it's uh, Senelier uh, that make these brushes, and I really have fallen in love with them. So that's all the five colors as you will uh, regularly swatch watercolors. But these uh, granulation colors uh, looks best if you have wet the surface first. You know, wet when you do wet in wet. So let's do that. And I will move some and there we have some colors. So I would just uh, take like half of this paper and add uh, water to it all the way down and it needs to sink in a few minutes and then I can add colors. And if you hear some noises in the background, it's just my dog. I gave her some treats so that she would be quiet while I am filming this. So now I think I have quite a nice area that is wet. So let's, uh, oops, that sound loud. Um, so let's add uh, forest olive. Up here, and the paper I am using are Arches uh, cold pressed because for the super granulating colors or for any granulating colors you need to have an, uh, a watercolor paper with some texture so you need it to be cold pressed. And you can also use uh, rough paper that has a little bit more text textured uh, surface than just like regular uh, cold pressed. Sorry, I have a little bit hard time finding words today or tonight. It's night here right now. So I hope that this paper will <laughs> uh, be enough. Maybe I need uh, to add less of the color so that they all will fit on the same paper. And you can see right away here with the colors that they um, looks more alive. Than with the regular swatches. I think I need add, to add a little bit more water down here. So I can have a little bit uh, bigger area. Or just you can move along. I did not intend to do that. That happens. The colors are alive. I 
used the buff a bit. Let's make a little bit of a mess here with the colors. The sections of the colors are just getting smaller and smaller. Uh, I should have planned out that a little bit better. Um, that can happen. So now we need uh, for the colors to dry on the paper and the paper to dry so you can see more, um, so you can see better how they look when, once they dry, how the granulation looks. But you can already see here with the forest green that um, the pigments and the colors have separate, separated somewhat and also with the forest blue. And here I just get some muddy colors. Maybe I will have to do uh, another area for that little green. It looks a little bit sad. Or oh, green forest brown was it? A strange name for a green color. And I would very much like to know what the super granulating colors, if you have used one that you like. So please write that down in the comments because I think it's fun to see what other people like uh, for colors. What other kinds, what other colors of colors that people like. Uh, as I said, I have very hard with <laughs> words tonight. It was a while since I last spoke English. So... That's my excuse. So let's add some forest brown right here. They look quite interesting, all the different uh, colors. I actually start to think right now of what uh, kind of forest scene that I can paint with uh, these colors. So hopefully I will do that um, not so long in the future. And I really, really like the forest blue right here. Very, very, very nice. But I have always uh, loved colors in like blues and purples. My favorite set of uh, Schmincke Supergranulation sets are Deep Sea, which are mainly blues and purples and one black. And I also love the galaxy violet. So now we will just let the, those colors dry. And I will come back to you in a moment where I will uh, uh, give you a little bit of a close up of all the colors. So I will be back in a little bit. Hang on tight.
So thank you so much for keeping me company tonight while I was watching all of these colors and I hope that this video has been helpful for you if you have uh, been thinking about purchasing those colors uh, and I actually think that if you like greens you should absolutely get this set of five forest colors because they are very very lovely colors but the decision is completely up to you and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button I will appreciate it very much and uh, when you subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't want to miss any upcoming videos from me I have some plan but uh, I don't know when I will be able to make them. I have quite a lot of time but not so much energy but uh, now at least the days are getting uh, lighter and feels longer so I hope I will get more energy to paint and create. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day or night or whatever you are having. And I really hope that I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye bye.